We are right here at yesterday's close, which was 20 and a quarter. Looking for cross trade in the 1103 column, 1107 column. We'll take the 19 and a half correction. It wasn't yesterday's close, it was um, Thursday's close. Nine, one nine. Our entry is 19 and a half, so our exit on the first contract would be 18 and a quarter. You can see the cross trade here, 11 to 6, 19 to 4, 16 to 15. Buying, but movement uh, not going any higher. You can see the delta. It's 1300 positive. Last time we came up with 6,377 positive. If it breaks to the upside, 2375 is the top of the tail on Friday. We would considering adding another two lot between 21 and that tail at 2375. Our target on this trade, being that we're at the high of the day, of course, is the first contract comes off at one and a quarter points. The second contract comes off at an additional uh, five points. That will give us six and a quarter points on the overall trade. Eighteen and a quarter is the target for the first contract. We're getting a lot of trade at 1850, 2359 contracts here on the, um, on the bid, and the market's not going down. That's a concern, so we're going to put our stop, if we don't get filled here at 18 and a quarter, um, we're going to be um, looking to exit this trade, although we have cross trade here also, 2600 at the ask, and it's not moving down. So we'll stay, we'll stay put here for a minute. We bounced off the cross trade of 33 to 33 up just a little bit. Remember our entry was 1950. We never got filled at 18 and well no I, excuse me we did get filled at 18 and a quarter. 851 possibly that's a, a question mark. I usually like to see it trade through 18 and a quarter trade through our uh, number by a tick then we can guarantee a fill. We were ready to short this again up through the tail uh, up to 23.50, 23.75 just in case it did break to the top side. It looks like we're about to break down to the downside now. There's our confirmation on the fill at 18 for the first contract off. Now we're looking for 14.13s for the other five points. 14, 13 and a quarter. Now that we got filled at 18 and a quarter, we're going to put our stop in uh, at break even at 19 and a half. That way, if on a retracement back to 19 and a half, uh, we're at least guaranteed a point minus commissions. We see them hitting the bid now, moving down from the 19s through the 18s through the 17s. And consolidating here in the 16s um, so we're going to be patient to hold on here we should have a rotation uh, back through the mean we're right around the mean now we should have a rotation back down to the other end of the looks like a balanced market being made today so we're going to hang on there for that additional five points from our 18 and a quarter uh, initial exit from our first contract which would put us at 14 13 and a quarter well, we're being patient here. Uh, we still have our stop at 19 and a half at break even. We uh, have not yet achieved our target of five points. The market's sort of slow today at 13 and a quarter, but we're going to uh, hang tight here. We're waiting patiently here while the market grinds lower to our target at 13 and a quarter. Well, after being exceedingly patient for um, for me. We seem to be grinding slowly to 13 and a quarter. Our 
our stop still at 19 and a half. Well, we are almost to the 13 and a quarters. 14, 13.75 bid, even ask. It has been a long grind from our entry at the high of the market to our target here at 13 and a quarter. The market's range today is only 10 points compared to some of the previous days where we've had ranges of 20, 30, 40 points. Wild rotational swings within those uh, ranges. So today uh, seems to be a lot more quiet. Uh, there will be another asymmetrical opportunity somewhere around the low today. It looks like the market shaping up to be a typical balanced market. But we still are standing tight with our uh, stop at our original entry at 19 and a half and our target for the second contract exiting here at 13 and a quarter. That'll give us one and a quarter points on the first contract, five points, uh, excuse me, one and a quarter points on the first contract, six and a quarter points on the second contract, and that correlates to a total of seven and a half points times fifty dollars a point, make a three hundred and seventy-five dollar net net trade. 1375 bid, asking even, 75 bid. We should take down a couple more ticks here and we will get filled at 13 and a quarter. And we're gonna take a break and do some organizing in our chart books. We'll keep this live for a second here. See if we can get filled at 13 and a quarter. 1350 bid, 75 ass, 13 and a quarter, 50 bid, take down at 13 even, we'll get filled. 13 and a quarter ask, 75 ass, 50 ask, 50 at 75, come on, come on, come on, come on. There's 226 on the sell side at 13 and a quarter. Nothing on the buy side at 13 and a quarter, so to buy back our short, we need this thing to tick down to 13, tick through 13 and a quarter or do some sort of volume at 13 and a quarter on the buy side. Boy, it ticks 13 and a quarter, 225 contracts on the sell side and nothing on the buy side, a big zero. But we should, we should tick down maybe a little retracement back to the 14s or 15s, but we're just a little bit south of the mean. We're uh, trending now down toward where we uh, opened up the day. Or excuse me, that's inaccurate. We're trading down to where we uh, traded after the open of the day in the A period and the B period. We were trading within yesterday's value range today's value range, the previous day's value range. We're trading right now around where the Globex broke out in the pre-market session. So we could have a little bit of resistance here in the 13s, but we're still expecting uh, to get our target at 13 and a quarter. We're still trading 50 on the bid, 75 on the ask. There's 13 and a quarter on the bid, 50 ask. We should get filled here. Come on, one more tick. 25, there it is, 13 even. So, after waiting um, the better part of, I don't know how long, uh, 11, 12, actually it was only an hour and 15 minutes, but it seemed like an eternity. Uh, we got our fill, our target at 13 and a quarter. So again, our initial uh, sell was at 19 and a half. We pulled out our first point at one and a quarter. Um, that was uh, an exit there at 18 and a quarter on our first contract. And then we got our second contract out here at 13 and a quarter, uh, which gives us a nice, uh, an additional six and a quarter points. So we have uh, seven and a quarter points on that trade. Now we're gonna take a break and do some work. Filling in our chart book for a couple days and uh, we'll be back uh, after lunch and see if we can catch a uh, trade toward the afternoon session.